Good afternoon, Trinidad and Tobago. I'm Karen Cozier Phillip, and this is your CNews update at 4 o'clock. Pan Trinbago announces they're taking legal action against the National Carnival Commission in light of an impasse over Panorama 2017. Now, when CNews contacted acting president Richard Photo, he said he's tired of the games surrounding their organization. He said by law they are supposed to manage their affairs, but are being prevented from doing so by the National Carnival Commission. Minutes from 1997, 1998, and beyond, with regards who manages the panorama and who manages the aspect of the panorama, or not only panorama but the carnival, the various parts of the carnival. The interest group were given their respective shows to manage. Today, the gate receipts are not managed by the organization. We normally would have Pan Vesco. We have given the tickets to Pan Vesco. He said fears of fiscal mismanagement were circumvented several years ago with the creation of Panvesco, one of their subsidiaries. It was created to deal with the financial responsibilities of Pan Trinbago, tickets, receipts, and the audit of these. Despite this, Mr. Photo says their decision regarding prices for admission to Pan has been ignored by the National Carnival Commission. Their request for judicial review is scheduled for tomorrow before Justice Kokoram. The National Petroleum Marketing Company says it will launch an investigation into how eight gas stations received fuel contaminated with water. In a release, NP's corporate communications manager, Denise Caesar, says the company is aware of reports of fuel being contaminated with water at a few service stations. NP is assuring the public that it is a contained situation and the matter is being addressed expeditiously. Minister of Health Terence Dalsing says there is no shortage of chronic disease assistance program CDAP drugs in the country at this time. However, one drug, simvastatin, prescribed for lowering cholesterol, is running low and is being issued cautiously until the end of the month. His comments came following statements by the Pharmacy Board of Trinidad and Tobago that it's difficult to get certain drugs which are in high demand, mainly simvastatin and enlopril. Calls by the opposition in Dominica for Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt to resign have been met with his statement that neither he nor the government will get out because of protests from any groups or individual. He says the only, ballot, only the ballot box will remove him. He blamed the United Workers Party, UWP, for the violence that engulfed Rosso on Tuesday night following a public meeting organized by opposition parties calling for his resignation. Dominican police fired tear gas Tuesday night to disperse the protesters who had taken to the streets demanding the resignation of Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt and members of his Domin Dominica government. The action by the police followed a number of fires and the looting of several buildings in the capital. And Ian Wallace now has the weather forecast. It's been a mixed day across Trinidad and Tobago with Saharan dust and some blustery showers alongside the gusty winds. And there's also a rough seas bulletin in effect across Trinidad and Tobago from the Meteorological Service. The showers will likely ease as the day cools. The Saharan dust will still be around, however, particularly for Tobago. Meanwhile, in Trinidad, hillsides may still turn damp overnight with a stray blustery shower or two throughout the early hours. The Saharan dust will linger in Tobago before clearing both islands thoroughly through Thursday. After a pleasant 31 degrees Celsius today, expect a mild night above 23 degrees Celsius. Rays remain across the Caribbean and Atlantic waters with wind waves of 2.5 to 3 meters pushing to 3.5 meters further out in the Atlantic and the strong trade winds of 20 to 25 knots with gusts up to gale force at times at 61 kilometers per hour recorded at Tobago earlier today. The Meteorological Service advises all marine interests to exercise extreme caution. That's the latest weather and I am meteorologist Dean Wallace. That was your senior's update. I am Karen Kozia-Philip.